So this is going to be a special room. It's going to be a, um, a special episode. What we have going on here is this is a, a makeshift build station for something really cool that we got. Got this in the mail from my my buddy who um, my buddy Eric who built 3D printed engines, believe it or not. So I saw this video of a 3D printed 13B REW, and I said, I have to have this. So I went ahead, contacted Eric. He came up with the stuff, and as you can see, we've got all these little parts in here. This is a full printed 13B REW. Here's your irons with the intake manifold all the associated parts you can see here's a hardware kit there's the rotors so we're going to take this thing all out and i'm going to actually put this together it's going to take some time but before we get started i just want to do a little walkthrough of our room here <laughs> what we have is um, obviously we have the workstation here we got the table We've got a rug. We got a rug when you first come in. It's a shoes off environment. Um, this is the kitchen. It's right here. So we have we got some tea going. We got a little burner. We're, we're, we're boiling up some tea. We got a refrigerator. This is, this is where we store some of our cold beverages. All right, a little frigid air. We got the lights. We got the laptop. Some decoration. This is this is real deal right here. All right, so let's um, let's go ahead and unpack the rotary engine, and I'll lay it all out so we can see what we got. So as you can see, this is all scale. It's one third scale, and uh, here's the rotor housings. Really neat. Has the has the exhaust port. Spark plug holes, and um, intake manifold. Here's the upper, lower. It's really, really cool. And it's again like almost a perfect representation of a actual 13B REW. Here's a, it's going to have a single turbo, rear housing, compressor housing. Center section is the intake manifold, the throttle body adapter. So we got a lot of work to do here, but there's a lot of stuff in here to deal with. Got some electronics we got to put together. We got we got our work cut out for us, and um, it's gonna be it's gonna be really cool when it goes together. We need rotors. That's so sweet. So in the meantime, we're gonna have some tea and hopefully I don't break anything. The first part that we decided to assemble was a turbocharger. And I mean, we had to do every single screw, every little part of it. It's got an impeller you can see, it actually turns. Turbine, it's all inside there. It's just like a real turbo. Center section is separate, rear housing, front housing, compressor is all separate onto this uh, single turbo manifold. So now we're going to go ahead and dig in. I've got the instructions loaded up and we're gonna start to assemble the motor. It's really cool, this kit, all the instructions are online, everything's online. We've got everything binned out. we got everything where it needs to be. So it's gonna take a while, but it's gonna be worth it. So there's the turbo. Now we can get started on the rotor housings. Ready? All right, we got some major progress here. So we've got everything all together. And you can see inside here, this is how the thing turns. And it actually turns and undulates just like a real motor. So pretty sweet. Really like the model. Um, I put the turbo on it here 
and <coughs> everything is situated. Intake manifold, you can see the detail. This thing is just really awesome. So big shout out to Eric. He goes by Eric the Pool Boy um, on, I think it's called Thingiverse. I'm not really familiar with that stuff, but he's an awesome engineer slash designer. He put this stuff together on his own and he actually prints them out. So pretty cool. I'm going to put together the engine stand, which I also got from him, and then we'll bolt that to the engine stand. And there's a motorized part of it that actually fits inside the oil pan and turns it for you. So that'll be the end. But for now, that's it's gonna do it for this. This is really cool. I'm really excited about this. It's a tiny little, I think it's one third scale. So pretty cool. I love it. So I just got done taking some pics of the uh, RX-7s. And um, when I got back, I noticed Carlos has taken a liking to one of the cars that we brought in. He, uh... He's kind of digging this Roadster. What do you think? I uh, I feel like the manager from the local Italian uh, successful restaurant. Okay, yeah. so like a little pizza joint? Yeah, yeah, I'm Just the manager a, from the manager, local Assistant pizza manager. Joint. I, I'm assistant to the regional manager. Right, okay. Yes. I uh, I couldn't afford the uh, Italian luxury, the so Ferrari. I got me, I got me the uh, Japanese Roadster with the uh, peanut butter interior, the uh, big wood steering wheel. Put the window down. And uh, excuse me, to the center. <laughs> excuse me. Yeah, excuse push. me. Oh boy. I, I I I don't know European cars. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, push it either down or up. It, yeah, it's not working. Wait. <laughs> there we go. I'm sorry. I don't. I, I'm used to American. He's cars. not used I, to these. I'm not used to these yeah. uh, European stuff. Yeah. You know. So tell us a little bit about this car. Like, what what are the, some of the strong points? The uh, strong points. Well, we have the uh, peanut butter interior in here. It's very, uh, very European like. I mean, creamy. look at this, this, this. You know, naughty. Uh, Is it creamy uh, or crunchy? Huh? Is it creamy or crunchy? Peanut butter. It depends. Oh, uh, if you have loafers on with no socks, it's crunchy. This you need, and you need uh -huh. the you need yeah. the tan leather gloves, the driving and, gloves. Yeah, so I need the tan leather gloves with uh, fingerless, finger, fingerless, fingerless. With, uh, yeah, with the holes in the knuckle. Yeah, perforated you know what knuckles. Also matches is the uh, the wood grain key. Oh wow! Ooh, I uh, I need some goggles with uh, nice some goggles, some leather yeah. leather hat helmet and my nice uh, big scarf just flowing out the wind. It actually will fly out the car as I drive it Look. and blast through the gears. <laughs> Touch the ground. Yes. Look at you. I, I can probably touch the ground right Pretty now. close. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I have. Needless to say, uh, it took me like half an hour to get in this car. I don't know how I'm going to get out. Probably the roof's got to come off for me. To Jaws out. of life? Yes. Nah, I doubt it. This is a quality machine right here. Roberto's getting AC fixed up. Yep. Charging her up. Good. Getting ready. Car's really a nice car. If anybody's interested in a Roadster. Really. Marcus loves this car. This is Marcus's favorite freaking car. These, these are my favorite cars. Marcus drove it all the way home from Jacksonville. How was it? Mint. Mint, he says. It sounds it's just, cool. It's got a little muffler. It's just, you know, it's a Miata, so it's 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 gear bound at like 60 miles an hour. Not really. <laughs> nah. Not really. No. This it's like these things could go. Me and Chris got ours up to 140. No. No, 120. There you go, 120, yeah. And um, I feel like this one might be a little bit more, so maybe like 130. No way. KDM is a little bit faster. No today. way, 120. I don't know if that's right. 120, that's all it's got. Still, well, either way. really nice car. Check it out on the website, horsepowerlogic.com. If you like the Roadster, oh, Jack, put I in a bit. what that sensor was. Oh, yeah? Oh, TPS, yeah. There you go. We're, we're working on Rod Rodnick's Max. Roadster. Getting it going. Marcus is going through it right now. He's checking out the wiring harness and doing appropriate deletes to whatever we don't need, right? Yeah. Getting that going. But anyway, if you want to, uh, if you want to see a really, really cool little rotary engine model, I'm about to show it to you. So get ready. Check this out. It's a 3D printed, actual one third scale or I think it's one third scale uh, 
13B REW, just like the FD. So check it out. <laughs> Carlos wants a cassette tape. Anybody got a cassette tape? I like to listen to my music, but I don't want the CD to skip, so I need a cassette tape. <laughs> <laughs>